Hello. Hello, everybody. It's hard to believe, but just a mere 30 minutes ago, Lee and I were covered in horse poop. You will see why coming up in a story this weekend during our derby coverage. We had a lovely day out on a beautiful farm. Windstar is, uh, oh boy. Windstar is about beautiful. Gorgeous. Yes. If you've never been out to Windstar Farm, it's kind of right behind the castle, not a far drive from here in Lexington. You need to go and check Pisca. them out. Pisca. Pisca Pike. We had a you go to Windstar and you go, that's a lot of money. Oh my gosh. When you first pull That's in, a lot of money. Yeah. I don't know who's got the money here, but Lord, they're loaded. Yes, they are. I mean, the farm is beautiful, and they, yeah, we had a great time <laughs> with them. So check out the story. We had a ton of fun with our friends from Windstar Farm this morning. It will air on Derby Day, so this coming Saturday. We got a lot of things that we're working on for Derby. We are. Can you believe Derby is this weekend? Nope. I can't believe it. I really can't either. I feel like we were literally just at Churchill Downs for Derby last year. Yeah. Oh, man. We're going to look sharp. Lee and I have got some pretty sweet outfits coordinated. He got his dress first, obviously, I did. and then I coordinated mm -hmm. with a sharp suit. With some culottes. With some culottes, yes, yes. How was your weekend? Uh, it was fine. How was yours? It was good. It was good. What are you doing? Stretching out? A little, a little, a little peacocking? Little, yeah, well, I just... Posing? I think I may have, you know, overdone it with the... Cirque with du Soleil last week? Cirque du Soleil. Well, <laughs> that thing, uh, that, I should have sued. Why? I don't know. You know what? They let me do it. Right. Before I signed a waiver, they made Haley sign a waiver before she. Then afterwards, somebody went, "Oh God, we got to get him a waiver." Well, they could tell. Look you. at that old. Look at that. Bark. Is that a bone sticking out? Bouncing up and down. Signed a waiver. I mean, I, you're right. I, I, really? I, and, and what could I do? I mean, if I went to say seek medical advice mm -hmm. for my back being tweaked, mm -hmm. here's what I would le legitimately have to say to a medical professional. Yes. What happened? I would say, a man named Sasha from Kazakhstan. <laughs> Dribbled me like a basketball on a trampoline. <laughs> on a bed. On a bed. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bed that doubles as a trampoline. Who was going I was with a young man from Kazakhstan named Sasha on a bed backstage at Rip Arena. And he dribbled me. And I've thrown me my like back a, out. <laughs> and he dribbled me like a basketball. He bounced me up and down. What is love? Lovingly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We had so much fun at Cirque du Soleil. If you went out and saw the show this weekend at Rip Arena, let us know on our Facebook page or. On our new fancy Instagram and Twitter pages. I don't do the Instagram. I'll do the Instagram. Yeah, okay. he tried to post some photos to our brand new Instagram last week. Didn't work. Our heads were chopped <laughs> off. He doesn't understand. Doesn't understand. So I'll be taking over the Instagram. Yeah, please do. Yes, yes. Okay. Anyway, want to do some hot topics? Roll it. Let's do it. Hot topics. Well, a man proposes to his girlfriend after crossing the finish line at the Kentucky Derby Festival Marathon. That's that runner's high, I guess. I guess so. I Adam, love you. Adam Siebert <laughs> ran beside his girlfriend, Melissa Ratliff, after a 13.1-mile run. The couple crossed the finish line. He dropped to a knee to throw up, and <gasps> then he asked oh. Melissa to marry him. And she said, yes, you fool. <laughs> but get me a bottle of water. Yeah. I'd like to clean oh, up first. Oh, that is so sweet. And here's what's so funny. We actually have... Someone who works here at <laughs> our station Ratliff, named yes. Melissa Ratliff. So when I first read this story, I was like, Melissa's what engaged? Has happened? And no one told me? Yeah. Anyway. And she's also a runner as well. Melissa takes part in a lot nice. of runs. So, yeah. But that is so beautiful and, yeah, very special mm. for them. Right. Once they, once she was able to catch her breath, she said, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> it's a Monday. Of, that's, what, that's what a fellow from Kazakhstan will do that's to you. Right. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Okay. So if you saw Hey Kentucky last week, you were hosting all week long. Last week. Well, not every day, but every day? most of it. Most days. And I filled in as his co-host one day last week. If you watched Hey Kentucky... Um, Friday. Friday night. You saw us talking about this. If you don't know, it's called a wooden bow tie. It's a new um, product. Yes. For guys tired of fooling... I've seen these. With a bow tie, a Louisville company has come out with these. They're called wooden bow ties. Mm -hmm. Wood doesn't wrinkle or lose its shape, obviously. Right. Story Wood bow ties uses wood from mostly historic renovations, including bourbon barrels as well. Oh. The artist says when a historic building is being replaced, they take the old lumber to make this unique piece. I mean, look at the artistry in it's these. Beautiful. They spend a lot of time on them. Artist, uh, the artist is currently using wood from the barn of racehorse legend Man of War. What? Is that not awesome? The bow ties are cut from four to five millimeter slats of wood, then etched on laser cutters with various patterns. Prices range from 49 to 100 bucks, depending on how much work they put into them. So, mm -hmm. but that's really neat. So yeah, you can have a bow tie on that's part of the barn where Manowar, you know, lives. It's so cool. I'm wearing underwear from Mr. Ed Stahl. Oh, wow. Right now. Yeah. Are they supportive or 
constricting in a well, way. Well, uh, a little itchy, to be honest with you. Oh. Yeah, and I'm worried about termites. Mm. Ouch. I don't, you know, here's what I said, and some people <clears throat> took umbrage with uh, my statement. I'm shocked. People were upset by something you said. I just don't think, guys, you can't count on a guy to help you dig a hole if he's wearing a bow tie. There's something about a hipster dude wearing a bow tie that says he's going to avoid manual labor. Manual labor, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, and I've always said, like... Now, that may not be true I, for the Amish. Don't the, do the Amish wear bow ties? <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't, don't think so. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't think so. And th that's your market right there. Those guys would love a wooden bow tie, wouldn't they? I, I don't know. Why are you asking me? I don't know. Mm. Would they? Didn't you date an Amish guy? Uh, no. I didn't. I was Elijah. in a cult once, though. <laughs> Is that the <laughs> same thing? Yeah. <laughs> Elijah loved him. Well, I uh, get in the derby mood with these things. Horse slippers. They're created <gasps> oh by gosh. Felton Design. Handmade products made of Estonia cart and wool. You can buy these one-of-a-kind slippers on Etsy. What um, is Etsy? I hear people talk about Etsy. So Etsy is a website where tons of little like boutiques and shops from around the country, oh. around the world, it's one kind of online marketplace. So if I couldn't get to Amazon, if I'm a, say, a vendor, I'd go to Etsy. You'd go to Etsy. And I could sell my wares there. You could sell yours. I've ordered a ton of stuff off Etsy. It's just a great way for little bitty boutiques or, you know, uh, crafts. crafts. Yeah, people who've yeah. started up different kind of little businesses can sell stuff. I bought jewelry on there. Um, what? I got, they do a lot of, yeah, custom stuff. Pool boy. I bought a pool boy on there. Yeah, yeah. from Etsy. From Etsy. He's wonderful. His name's Sasha. <laughs> He's now with Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> Yeah. It's full circle. Anyway, but yeah, so those are interesting. I wonder how much those are. Do we know how much those are? I don't know. The, the slippers? They look really nice. Well, do you wear slippers ever? I do. Do you? Yeah, I have a pair of... Um, I don't wear slippers. I don't wear pajamas. I, all of that getting dressed up oh. to go to bed what do you, seems ridiculous. Are you full nude? Are you a full nude man at home? That's why the blinds are always drawn at the Cruz household. <laughs> it, the neighbors demand it. I'm just saying, why do I <laughs> get dressed up to go sleep? That makes no sense. But you're not getting dressed up. Yes, I am. If I'm taking my clothes off, I'm okay. done. Let's sleep. You sleep. I, I feel like we're getting into. But you, you put it out there. Do you sleep fully nude? I don't nude? sleep in pajamas. So you're nude. I don't. So you I, have on, I didn't say that. You have on your panties. Sometimes I okay. wear panties. <laughs> okay. But I'm, what I'm saying is, why would I then go and decide? Because some people like, they iron their pajamas. They okay. press their pajamas. That's too that, far. And they get the buttons on. Why would I do that? It looks nice. For who? For your loved ones. <laughs> <laughs> or yourself. You can look nice for yourself. I, if I, I had sleep in pajamas children, because maybe I like to be different. warm and cozy. Okay. I love sleeping in, you know, sweatpants and No, I've slept in my clothes. Right, but I've why? Been, well, because I'm too tired. And inebriated. No. Joyous. That's what it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> Joyous. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Lee's home. <laughs> This no, why, we car. talked about that. Like, because the, the old shift we were on, you would just pass out. Uh, when we worked the morning shift, I would, yeah, it, it, you couldn't sit down until you were ready to go to bed because the chance of falling asleep in your dress clothes from work yeah. was very high. Oh, yeah. Very high. Happened to me all the time. And I would Constantly. fall asleep at stoplights. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, I've done it. And people behind you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> No, I, in answer to your question, I wear house shoes all the time. I love them. I have Ugg house shoes. Those stink. You stink. No, I've heard nothing but bad reviews on the smell of Uggs. I don't care if they stink. I live for them. I have Ugg boots that I wear, and then I have Ugg house they shoes. They trap they're all the moisture but from your it. sweaty feet, and now you stink up your abode. They don't abode. sweat. Yeah. Well, a Florida father has punished his son because he found out his son was a bully, and he wasn't wow. standing for it. Here's dad and his son. His dad looks like a bully. Yeah. He, okay, so the boy is in middle school, and the dad learned that he had been bullying several of his classmates. I'm afraid of his dad. I am, too. His dad is <laughs> no jokes. Ooh, Lord. Um, so the son is 13 years old, and the dad decided, if you're going to bully people, I'm, I'm going to show you what it feels like to be embarrassed, how you make those other kids feel. Good. So look at this. He made his son stand on a busy street corner wearing a sign that said, I'm a bully. Honk if you hate bullies. Aww. The son says it didn't take long for people to start honking at him. Some even stopped to talk to the boy and his dad. Dad says not everyone, though, has been a fan of his parenting, uh, but he thinks it really well, I'm taught. a fan of it. I'm too. He said it, he really thought it taught his son a lesson. I, again, I, I feel that I should set up some support group <coughs> for bullies. There's bullies, a reason they bully. 
Well, not just, no, I don't mean that. I mean to protect them. If it wasn't for bullies, think about it. Here we how, go. How would, how would life, we, we never would evolve into better people if we didn't have somebody mm -hmm. creating pressure mm -hmm. to make us better and to realize, give us an example, I don't want to be like that guy. Mm -hmm. True, and, true. And to push us. Yeah. I, one of my greatest, I, I was actually thinking about this this weekend, actually. I don't know what made me think of it. I was lying in bed and started thinking about in it. In pajamas. In my lovely ironed sequined pajamas. Mm -hmm. And, no, I started thinking about a girl in my school that was a bully. I don't know what made her come to mind, but she it was a girl, and she was so mean to all of us. And was I remember one time, and it was until I was in high school one time, where I was like, why do we care what she thinks? And once mm -hmm. I found, like, yeah, she'd send another girl to be like, tell Haley to come talk to me. I'm mad at her, and I need to talk about it. And I was like, tell her to... Pff going in there with the, with the, yeah she never bullied me again mm. i mean we it was from like middle i mean bullies but again so you stop. Bullies okay suck. that's a life lesson that that girl gave you you unlocked it you you realize power don't people I don't did. have I was power like, over you anymore stupid yeah don't let don't let people bully you stand up to them but no, also, if, if that girl didn't do that if she wasn't there is what i'm trying to tell you then how would you have learned that lesson i'd learned it otherwise i stood up to other people Another proposal has gone viral. A teen shocked his girlfriend on prom night with an actual marriage proposal. Say what? What on, in high school? What are you doing? Dawson, no. Dawson Moore and Amber Brownlee are from Belton, Texas. They've been dating for three years. The two were taking pre-prom photos when Brownlee turned around to find Moore on his knee. Moore uploaded this video of the proposal on his Twitter page. It has been liked more than 76,000 times. By the way, she said yes. She's a child. You're both children. <laughs> Best of luck to you, though. <laughs> if I married my high school boyfriend, I would be miserable today. Oh, boy. Oh, he was the worst. Oh. He was the worst. And Who he's was the bully nowhere. at your high school again? It was me. No, <laughs> I was right. so nice. I was Sir. really nice. No, he's the worst now. And it's so funny. I mean, maybe this guy is so... Why are you saying this about so... this poor man? Why, why are you saying this? He was horrible. Oh. He was a big, dumb idiot. Oh, please Plop. stop. Will you stop with this? Why? This poor guy. He's probably somewhere desolate right now watching this broadcast, and you're killing him. Hey, I don't care. I don't care. He was a dumb butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, straight ahead, how checking your phone could put some green right in your pocket. Breakout Games has an exciting announcement you don't want to miss. We're going to share it with you next here on Live with Lee and Haley. Stay with us. We're back after this.